Just a quick preamble before I start the main video, gang. Um, so it's Saturday, 10th of October, 2020, and it's uh, World Mental Illness Awareness Day. Um, they do quite a lot of this through the year. I think they had a mental awareness illness week during the year in May, but um, I think it's uh, it's a problem. It's an issue we all need to recognise. Everyone has their ups and downs, depression and stuff like that, and it's been a hard year for everyone. So this is just a little, little extra, just to try and raise awareness, especially today, because it's the main day today, Saturday the tenth. Um, but they, you know, they're trying to say, you know, talk to people. Talking is good, always good. Phone somebody up, ask how they are, have a chat, go around for a cup of tea or coffee, slice of cake, communicate, show a bit of kindness, which is, is always good. And uh, it's been a tough year for everyone, I think more than usual. We always have our ups and downs, but uh, this year especially, especially with uh, lockdowns and isolations and stuff like that. So if we get in that situation again, or anyone is in that situation because they need to be shielded or isolated, once again, make the effort. Zoom calls, WhatsApp calls, all sorts of video calls, phone calls, sit and have a video cup of tea and cake and a chat with somebody it's uh, it all helps and it all aids in our mental health so make a little a little bit of effort be be kind to someone today make that phone call have a chat and uh, just be aware of mental health and illnesses the small part even having a chat you can do to help so thanks again guys right i'll uh, stop waffling <laughs> and uh, we'll get into the, the main meat of the of the video thanks for listening welcome back guys <clears throat> it's been a little while but uh, we've had a new delivery in you know recently i did the um the US MRE but we've got in now is a modern British 24-hour ration pack so we're gonna do an opening and a first look and I'll do another video um, of me taking it out and eating it but this is just gonna be a first initial look at what we got what's in it etc you can um, I think up to the right there you can hit the link for my USMRE um, and the main difference between I think, the British and the American I think the American is more of a meal whereas the British is a full 24 hour ration pack of um, it says down here somewhere 4,000 calories I think the uh, an MRE is about 13.50 so you'd have to have a few of them to get your full calories for the day especially if you were doing a lot of strenuous work during the day I mean the normal calorie intake is about two two and a half thousand but for a young fit soldier doing soldiering lots of hard work they will need the extra calories so this is why military rations are very high calorific value even though they've lowered a lot of the fats and trans fats and sugars and stuff nowadays they're still high in calories because the guys need the energy so here we are a full British 24 hours so breakfast lunch and dinner a full day and uh, we'll get it open and uh, we'll see what we've got so, I've got a rough idea was it menu 10 I don't like pasta I'm a, I'm a weird person so it's one of the few <laughs> that doesn't have pasta in 
but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll get it open and we'll see what's in there right got it open so modern British 24-hour ration pack uh, menu 10 production date August 2018 so as they go pretty damn fresh so let's see what we got first out of the bag just fruit so a little bit of a fruity trail mix sultanas cranberries pineapple syrup oil sunflower yeah, 75 grams beyond the beaten track as well I think we all know that name best before 31st of the 1st 2021 so a nice little snack <clears throat> so another snack beyond the beaten track again and this is just nuts so there's all the info there so we've got peanuts almonds cashews but yet again between the two of them you've got nice pocketable trail mix on the go there very nice I think you're pulling out all the snacks at the moment. Typical British, even from when I was getting compo in the 80s. Boiled sweets, what we've got here. Lemon flavour boiled sweets. Lovely jubbly. Always nice to have little treats like this. But, uh, no one, stick in the old pocket, keep you going during the day. Very nice. So, what have we got here? Dark chocolate oat biscuits. So, chocolate chip cookies. Not a hell of a lot more to say about them, really. Lovely jubbly, another nice little treaty snack. Always nice. Cheese. cheese. We've got some uh, cheese in there somewhere. I've had, a, I've had a rummage, but yeah, yeah, again, good on the snack front. But plenty of snacks so far. Keep you going during the day. What have we got here? Right, okay, then. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying this one. Hot chocolate drink, orange flavour. Cocoa based beverage powder. Yeah. 500 millilitres of hot water and stir. Very nice chocolate. Chocolate orange. Lovely. Really, really nice. That's a nice addition. Beverage powder type. Raspberry. Raspberry beverage. Yeah, interesting. I suppose it's nice rather than just drinking water yet again. I suppose it gives you a sugar hit during the day. Yeah, carbohydrate and sugar. Quite a few kilo calories, kilo joules. Yeah, nice. Yeah, again, just 
elevate stuff from the blend. Another drink. <laughs> Uh, fruit flavoured energy drink so it's more of an energy drink this there we go nice sugary dextrose yeah again give you another kick so yeah cool like I said keeps it away from just bland water and uh Gives you a bit of a boost. So all this so far is just nice and snacky, energy boost giving. Just nice during the day. Another drink. Now, I watched the, uh, I think it's an ex US Marine doing uh, covering the British ration packs. Either I'm seeing it now, it's saying there's a lot of drinks, which is interesting. I don't know the thinking behind that. Perhaps someone else knows the thinking behind that. Pop that in the comments below if you've got anything behind it. But yeah, there's a lot of drinks, but Cola drink powder with sugar and sweeteners. Yeah, yeah, again, quite nice. Just, I suppose, lugging cans about, you can just flavour your water. Although, how much water they think it's that we're carrying interesting but yeah it's all flavors it's all nice gives you energy boost during the day so there we go cold drink number four well other than the old chocolate um, cola powder not too bad oh, little, um, question here I could put my number on it but I'm not on operation so I can't fill that out You guessed it, another drink. Tutti fruity drink powder with sugar and sweeteners. So yet again, looks like a sugary boost of some sort. So yeah, quite heavy on the drinks, I suppose, with the snacks and the drinks, you could just keep going during the day. Keep your energy levels up, get yourself sugar hits, especially if you're on operations. So there we are, quite snack heavy quite drink heavy at the moment. Moving away from drinks. Getting back onto the food now. Nice drop of smooth peanut butter. Not to everyone's liking, but I don't mind it. I suppose that could complement the, um, the sesame bar. Yeah, quite nice. Yeah, again, Another little snacky item to add to your lunch. I do like um, the American jalapeno cheese, I must say. I would prefer that. It would be nice if they could put that in, but yeah, no complaints. Drop of peanut butter, not too bad. Staying, I think, on a more lunchy tip Moroccan style bean stew, spiced tomato stew with chickpeas and cannelloni beans. Just another reason why I chose this because I think practically all the other menus for me are all pasta. I suppose if I was starving hungry, I'd just wolf them down, but it's not pasta, so yeah, it sounds quite nice. I suppose it'd be. Quite spicy and tasty. 300 grams. Now you just fold it over, put it in your cup, warm it up. Easy peasy. Yeah, lovely. That's quite nice. Here's another reason. Wait for this menu. Good old all day breakfast. Can't beat it, starting the day with that. 300 grams, nice pouch yet again. Get it folded over, easy to heat up. Use your water to make your tea or your coffee. 
Um, yeah, good balance of not too much fat, plenty of carbs, protein, not too much salt. But yeah, nice way to start the day. Decent breakfast, fantastic. It's what you want. I mean, nice or filling. Yeah, you know, yeah. The other option would be a more of a porridge or muesli based breakfast, but nice way to start the day if you're out on ops or a recon or something like that in a cold hide that's what you want decent breakfast so yeah very nice main meal beef goulash slow cooked vegetable and beef stew with paprika very nice go down quite well 300 grams there's all your ingredients and your calorific and nutritional info it's not too bad what did I say all this was 2018 it's through to August 2021 probably go way past that all this a good few years and it's still be like, like a good few years and then some still be easily edible but um, yeah nice decent main meal all looking quite good so far breakfast lunch snacks main meal very nice and there we go there's your pudding sticky toffee pudding 200 grams <clears throat> nice and stodgy fill you up especially this time of year in October make you feel like you've had a decent meal Allergy advice, ingredients, nutrition, best before date is 2021 again, toffee sauce, yeah that's all looking rather nice, nice bit of pudding, warm that up, lovely, very nice indeed. So then, coming to... Sundries. But there's your, there's your bag, rubbish bag. Obviously, if you're like me, you just camp in, leave no trace. Put all your trash bag, take it away with you. First sundry out. Now this is always a favourite. Little bottle of Tabasco sauce. That's gonna bean stew and the uh, the beef goulash. Oh yes, indeed. Extra flavour, always welcome. Fantastic, very nice. I think a lot of people like this. There's our sundries bag we got toilet paper stroke tissues yep we all know that's for handy lovely job a couple of be on the beaten track alcohol antibacterial wipes Need a quick wash down, very handy. Or weather matches and a striker, waterproof bag, excellent addition, always nice to have. Decent. Sporky spoon. Be on the beaten track chewing gum. Always nice. Just uh, chuck that in there. Screws my my creaky chair. Just uh, tip all this out now. So we've got. Lots 
glass of tea. Okay, like I said, it seems to be quite drink heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So lots of tea there. And we've got two coffee, a nice rombouts. And this cafe original. So you've got loads of drinks. Plenty of hot drinks, plenty of cold drinks. Sugar for all your drinks. Excellent. So again, there's quite a lot of be on the beaten track in here. Four creamers for your four hot drinks. Excellent yet again. Last but not least, water purification tablets. So there we go. Lovely. And an extremely handy plastic bag. So there we go. That's all of it. Modern British Army 24 hour ration pack. Plenty of snacks, plenty of food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You've got your trail mix, your ball sweets, your biscuits, your sesame bars, your peanut butter, chewing gum, Tabasco sauce adds to all this. you got all your cold drinks, drop of hot chocolate late at night. You've got your, um, your pudding as well. Plenty of tea and coffee. Matches wipes and your toilet paper for your cleanliness so that's basically all your needs you go out first thing in the morning you have to come back the following morning or later in the day 4,000 calories that's going to keep anyone going plenty so yeah quite impressed so we'll get all that all bagged up and uh, be another video coming soon Hopefully I can get out overnight and we'll put this to the proper test. It's been a long, long while since I've done a day on British rations. The American ones went down very nicely. I'm sure these will be tasty. But uh, yeah, we'll give them a go very, very soon. Watch this space. Okay, fantastic. So please hit the um, notification bell, like and subscribe. Always helps. Always much appreciated. Share as well. And uh, yeah, very impressed actually. I think it's come to 18 quid free posting and packing, so that's pretty good. These are dropping in price at the moment 16 to 18 quid for 24 hours. If you want to store some emergency food, you want a, a go bag sort of thing, a grab bag, an emergency bag pretty good all keeps for a long while but very impressed so far but we'll um we'll put it to the test consumption wise very very soon only thing i will say is it weighed quite a bit and there's a fair bit of a good <clears throat> probably pushing a well over a kilo or two so if you're out for a couple of three days you had a few of these in and some water and there'll be a fair bit of weight other than that yeah fantastic there you go there you go menu 10 24 hour British, British ration pack quite impressed so far thank you for listening guys and uh, as I said today world mental illness awareness day I say about listening and talking Talk to people, listen to people, take that time out of your busy day to make that phone call, have a chat with somebody, pop round for a coffee, makes all the difference. It's tough a lot of the time for people anyway, but it's been especially tough this year. So take time for someone else.
be kind. Make someone's day. Grizzly Andy, checking out. See you soon. Thanks for watching.